we yearn for something that's powerful and strong and true and genuine. Everything today seems to be so manipulated and plastic and not honest. Horses, those are honest. These things have a wonderful soul. They call me the lady with the horses. I like that. I like to be called the horse lady. So when they're coming running towards me and feel home and feel that I'm a part of the game. I need someone to talk to in the evening. I need somebody to share stuff with. So I talk to my buddies, the horses. I tell them my problems. The ones that wanted to hear me would come and stand close. I think I've always been blessed to have animals in my life. Horses have given us some of the best uh, nature experience and really took us close to the nature. So we have been places we would never have been if it was not for the horses. You really feel alive when you're outside. Just to be on this horse and to feel that lovely motion and just the grass around you and the mountains there and people just become quiet and they just suck it up. We've become so divorced from the soil and from animals. Get out and get grass between your toes. Get out and be amongst animals. Your spot on the planet becomes more clear when you're out here. It just is magic and you've got to pinch yourself, you know. It's just good for your soul just so good for your insides. There's a little saying, what's on the outside of a horse is good for the inside of man. Let's go. They teach you a lot about yourself and uh, you really are faced with who you are and what type of person you are. I think they have taught me a lot more patience. They teach you how to stay calm, how to keep your head together. Go, 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 go. Go. They say they're stubborn, and uh, I said, yeah, okay, because they're smart. You have to convince them to do what you want to do. Very similar to my personality. <laughs> I don't want anybody to force me to do something. I, I want to do it my way.
out. And I think what they do is they bring you right back to a point where you realize that you're actually just a little human who's lucky enough to be around these wonderful animals. It makes you humble and puts you sort of in your place. Looking after these wonderful, wonderful animals and knowing that I'm giving them a chance at a nice laugh, it's all worth it. I sometimes sit on that little piece of wood there next to the fence and you watch the horses and there's so much talking. They don't speak English, but the eyes and the ears and the body posturing, the movement, there's a lot of communication. You start to read them and vice versa, they start to read you too. I think what people miss is that you're not your language. You're not your voice. You're not the words that come out of your mouth. You are more than that. Unfortunately, we've allowed language to get in the way. It's about intuition. It's about knowing that you just trust yourself. That's true communication. We all have the ability to do that. And I think if we have that power, there's so much else out there that we just have to trust. I don't know how many people have had the joy of sitting and listening to a horse eat. Because there's nothing else you can do than listen to them eat. Be in the moment. You don't have to have anything. You just have to be to have something. I've learned about joy. It's here. It's deep, deep, deep inside me. That all the crazy moments that we have are moments that you can never, ever replace. Don't race to get to the next point. And it's not about the destination. It's about this amazing journey that we call life. If I had to thank the horses in any way for the love and the kindness, it would be from my heart to their heart. To all of you who have contributed, for those of you who've shared our films, for those of you who have written our comments, this journey is just beginning. And we've put a Patreon link below our films. So if you would like to continue to support us, we'd love for you to donate below. Thanks so much.